Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. I'm just making a standard man balloon. Exactly like I did for my Iron Man balloon. Except instead of using red, in this case, I'm using black. So, if you watch my Iron Man tutorial, this, so far, is exactly the same as Iron Man, except he's black instead of red. Very briefly, it's a loop twist, pinch twist, a leg with a shock twist, um, then the exact same thing is done on a separate balloon, a loop twist, a pinch twist, a leg with a shock twist, they're twisted together, you pinch twist on both of them, you come up for the chest, two pinch twists for the neck, come out to make the arms shock twist, and, and two pinch twists at the end. This is the body for Thor, exactly the same as Iron Man. If you want a thorough walkthrough, watch, watch Iron Man. Um, for Thor, he has a flesh-colored face, and you could give him flesh-colored hands if you want to. I will. You don't have to. If you're try if you're really pressed for time, skip it. Um, and he has blonde hair. I'm going to do sort of a princess head on Thor. Don't tell the God of Thunder that I'm giving him a princess head. On my yellow balloon for blonde hair, I'm doing two pinch twists. And I'm going to wrap the knot and the nozzle, but also the knot, of the blush balloon into those two pinch twists. And I'm going to twist off the head, and then come back up with the balloon and twist it into those two pinch twists and break it off. Thor has sort of shoulder length blonde hair, so this is what he's going to get. Sort of like a princess, but without a loop. Usually, most princesses probably have a loop in front, but not all. Right? Um, and I'm going to take this blush balloon and I'm going to wrap it into the, the neck here. give him hands. You don't have to, but if you want to give him hands, at this point, hand this. You could really just do a single pinch twist. Actually, if you were going to give him hands, you know what I really would have done if I was going to give him hands? Um, what I should have done is I shouldn't have put pinch twists here. I should have just left that with the nozzle and then the broken off piece tied off and done two pinch twists and wrapped that in, but it kind of doesn't matter. just do this. Two pinch twists, or a, I'm sorry, a single blush pinch twist, and I'm going to wrap it into the uh, black pinch, pinch twist there. That I made. There are always so many ways you can make a balloon. If you're an experienced twister, you certainly know that. If you're a new twister, you're going to find that out. There are so many ways, and there's no right or wrong way, usually. You can do it whatever pleases you. Like this. Uh, Thor has a hammer. We're going to give Thor a hammer. Um, you can use brown or gray. I'm going to use gray. You don't need much here. I only ever did Thor once, and I'm just trying to remember how I did it. I did two loop twists. Actually, I did a loop twist, a pinch twist, and then a loop twist. Yeah. A loop twist, pinch twist, followed by a loop twist. Sort of like you're making a bow for mini, mini mouse. Like this. And this would probably look better with a, um, with a um, 160. I don't really carry a lot of 160s. So. Grab this into his hand. 
like that. Where's the camera? Slip this off. Tie it. There is Thor, God of Thunder, with his hammer. Artwork is going to be kind of basic on Thor. I'll give him kind of an angry face like Hulk has, because if Thor is on Earth, he's probably angry about something. And Thor also has a lot of stubble for his beard. He doesn't ever have a full beard, but he has a lot of stubble. So I give him a lot of stubble. <laughs> I put this uh, picture on Facebook, and I think it was one of my Facebook friends said, How come Thor has vampire fangs? <laughs> well, the other Thor that I made said he doesn't. He has beard stubble. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe it was my frowny face that made it look like vampire fangs. That's my Thor frowny face. Uh, oh, and Thor has a red cape. Don't forget the red cape. Exactly the same as Superman or Batman's cape. Thor's red cape is probably a little shorter. You can do a little shorter. And it's just going to be wrapped in here. Take the end. The red cape is actually really what's going to define this as Thor, so don't forget the red cape. For Thor, I'm not going to give him a flowing red cape. I'm going to make his red cape go down, because it does. It it just it lays down on him, sort of like a robe almost. And find the end so it's a squared off kind of a cape, like we've done in the other videos. And that's it. That's Thor God of Thunder. Ah. Hey guys, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe be sure to check out my other videos.